Hey guys, today I finally get to show you our newly renovated bathroom, which I'm so happy about. This was actually the first room we've ever completely demolished and renovated like from ground up. So I feel like such a special connection with it because I got to pick out every single detail in the bathroom. So that was super, super fun, but it also was a little bit challenging. I don't know if me and Marcus, <laughs> I don't know if we get stuck with very bad contractors or if this is just always how the renovation process is, but they told us maximum two weeks. They were like, max two weeks, the bathroom will be complete, it's gonna be perfect, and we were like, amazing. Guess how long it took? Almost three months. Let me know if you guys have done any home renovations, if they've taken way longer than planned, but me and Marcus are totally done doing any renovations for a while now. So I'll show you guys a bunch of before and afters and also I'm gonna show you guys all in the bathroom. But basically the bathroom before really wasn't horrible. It was just a little bit outdated. But the main problem with it was that it was set up really poorly, like the use of space was really bad. We kind of rearranged the entire bathroom to make it fit so that there is a double vanity, a bigger shower, a standalone bathtub, and then our toilet, of course. Um, so one of the things that we had to do to fit all of that was to close off the door that was leading into this room, which is my office. So right here where this plant and shelf situation is happening, that was a big door. So we kind of closed it off, just made it a wall, and then everything fit in the bathroom much, much nicer. Okay, so let's just move on to the most exciting part, actually showing you guys the bathroom. I love how it turned out. I think you guys are gonna love it too. Okay, let's go. Here's the door to walk into our bedroom and then right here is the door to our bathroom. Drum roll, please. I'm so excited to show you guys. Da -da -da. Here is our new bathroom. So let me give you a little tour. Okay, so here is what it looks like when you first walk in our bathroom. There's the shower, the toilet, and then we have the bathtub right here. So here is the bathtub. I am so happy with our choice. I love how it fits into this little nook area perfectly. We chose to do the subway tile up halfway around the tub and then we chose a, a gold faucet set and I love this bathtub. I also got one of these wooden bathtub trays because I think it adds like a nice contrast with all the golds and white. I think wood is like a nice accent. So I have that here. I have my bubble bath. I have my homemade body scrub right here, which is going to be a new recipe on Kristen made very soon. And then I have a little body scrubber. So after we have the bathtub, we put the toilet right here. Okay, I'm just gonna sit on the toilet <laughs> and talk about this corner. I don't have Marcus here. Whoa, almost fell off the toilet. I don't have Marcus here to help me film today, so I'm doing this on a tripod and I hope that it works. But over here is our little toilet nook. <laughs> it's just a normal little toilet right here. I hung this curtain right here. Um, just to give us a little bit of extra privacy, but it actually gives you so much more light when you open it. So let me open it really quick. Perfect. And then up here we have one of my favorite plants ever. Like one of my favorite plants in my entire house and I knew that I wanted to hang it in here. It adds so much life and like beauty to this room. The plants absolutely thrive in bathrooms because the steam from the shower, um, they just love it. Like they grow so fast in the bathroom. So here is our little um, bathroom corner. Me and my bestie. Then we have our shower right next to it and we decided to go with subway tile with light gray grout and then marble honeycomb tiles. Wow, I never thought I would have my tripod in the shower ever, 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 but here we are. Um, I wanted to show you guys this little nook because I have a nice little tip for you guys that I just did myself. So I knew in this bathroom I did not want it to get cluttered at all. Like 
I've been trying to declutter my entire house and just make it as simple as possible. So along with that comes with packaging that I sometimes hate on different shampoo and conditioner bottles. So I just ordered some of these amber bottles. I labeled them and so we have our body wash. We have our conditioner and we have our shampoo. And it just looks a lot more uniform and simple, which I really like. And then I just have my razor and my face cleanser right here. Here's another angle of our shower heads if you wanted to see them. And there's that. And there's that. Okay, we're out of the shower. And now hopefully the audio is a little bit better. But now I get to show you guys the vanity, which I love so much. So let me show it to you. Oh, I don't even think I mentioned the tile we used for the floor. It's just large white honeycomb tile with light gray graft, if you wanted to know. I just got this rug from Anthropology. It was on sale actually. I'll try to find it and link it for you guys if they still have it. But here is our vanity. It's so beautiful and it fits both me and Marcus and now we don't have to argue about who needs to brush their teeth first. So, I love that. And then these two black mirrors are from a website called Rejuvenation and I love how they look in here. We decided to go with black mirrors because I felt like it needed some type of contrast with all the gold and I was actually a little bit scared of how the black was going to look but I really like how it turned out. So now let's go inside the vanity. In this first set of um, cabinets we have our towels and then we also have some extra toilet paper and some flossers. <laughs> and then down here we just have some extra hair tools. This drawer is Marcus's drawer, so we have all of his things in here, and then we also have some of the essential oils that I like to diffuse in here. And this is my like everyday drawer. We just have some toothpaste, my perfume, we have my deodorant, my favorite dry shampoo ever. This is the best ever. Um, and then some moisturizers and stuff. Then in this drawer is just some extra things like contacts. If you don't know, I'm very, very blind. We have some razors, some makeup removers, some white strips, and some extra moisturizer. Then in this drawer is just where I keep extra skincare things like toners and face masks my castor oil and then some extra perfumes as well and then and here is where I keep um, lots of my hair tools my hair scarves back there a little shower cap look how cute the shower cap is um, so here's like my curling wands we have some q-tips some of my favorite tanner and then this is just all different like hair styling things like bobby pins and things like that. And then this drawer is all of my hair products. Okay, that is it. That is the whole bathroom tour done. And I hope that you guys love it. I love it so much. I'm so proud of it that me and Marcus work together to kind of like redo everything in here. It feels very special. Um, if any of you guys are planning on renovating your bathroom, I hope this gave you some inspiration. Again, I'll try to find everything that I showed you guys um, and put it in the description bar so you can check it out if you want. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!